जय हिंद आई एम स्कॉटन लीडर अनुराधा आई एम ए रिटायर्ड डिफेंस ऑफिसर एंड दिस कंपनी प्रायन इज ऑल्सो फॉर्म्ड बाय रिटायर्ड डिफेंस ऑफिसर वी मैनुफैक्चर वी स्टार्टेड आवर जर्नी फ्रॉम सोलर एनर्जी रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी एंड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव डाइवर्सिफाइड इन टू ई चार्जिंग स्टेशन सो दीज चार्जिंग स्टेशन आर फ्रॉम थ्री पॉइंट थ्री किलो वॉट रेंज टू ट्वेंटी टू किलो वॉट रेंज एंड इट केटर्स टू ए सी चार्जिंग मेनली फॉर द यूजर्स if we uh, look at uh, how uh, what what special about these charging station so this is completely make in india it means even the uh, circuits internal circuits are not imported from outside and it is made indigenously there is a solar priority given to the circuit so it is uh, solar integratable and it gives the benefit of shortage of grid if any we have Uh, apart from that uh, this can be easily uh, pay and charge facility is there application supports this feature so the comfort or ease of charging is also provided with these charging stations uh, we have been uh, recognized by uh, uh, director of heavy industries for for this achievement and we have also got the startup seed fund grant for this and uh, on the lines of uh, the government's changing approach towards policies related to uh, defense manufacturing uh, is there anything you would like to share as a manufacturer as a defense manufacturer or um, anything you would expect or anything that is worth appreciation see uh, nowadays these days even defense is going for lot of electric vehicles even the forklifts or other uh, big, i am I, uh, i was in air force so i understand that they have lot of requirements related to electric vehicle charging so uh, these uh, charging stations it is not only economical it is indian and it is uh, comfortable to use so it makes it much more easier for defense people to adapt these ev charging stations also this will encourage them to even go for the gypsies or the small lmvs whatever they are using there also we can they can utilize these charging stations so i am looking at that overall we uh, move towards the government mission of uh, being electric by 2030 and last question is uh, does prayan have anything like what is it it will definitely have like what is it that prayan has to offer for the international market uh first we we were aiming to go uh, domestic and meet our requirement because india is first of all a very huge customer base it has lot of uh, potential to su support the uh, indian conditions apart from that we are also planning that uh, gradually we'll move towards international once we we achieve uh, some level of uh, satisfaction in domestic market thank you thank you so much